Hi everyone, Lates from Wineberry Hill. If you're thinking about getting a greenhouse, there are many things that could make or break your success. In this video, I'm gonna talk about one area that might not be on your radar. It's a given that you need to select the right soil, the right plants, the right design, and put the greenhouse in the right location. But if you don't have air movement figured out, it'll all be for nothing. I'm gonna cover three benefits to proper air movement inside a greenhouse. I'm also gonna talk about every gardener's favorite word. By fig, figmo morph. Every gardener's favorite word. By figmo. Fig, figmo or morphogen. Figming mo. Figmo morphogenesis. And by the way, YouTube measures the value of a channel by how much people interact with it. So please comment away. Okay. All of the concepts in this video apply to every type and size of greenhouse, but they might be implemented in different ways. And I suspect most of you can guess the reasoning behind the first concept, the regulation of humidity and temperature. Without good airflow, essentially your greenhouse is an oven when it's sunny and a sauna when it's humid. But when you have proper airflow in a greenhouse, it acts like air conditioning and a dehumidifier rolled into one. Good air movement regulates the climate in a greenhouse by removing hot, stale air and bringing in cool, fresh air. And this is critical to balance for the transpiration of a plant. Transpiration is the means by which a plant breathes and manages water. And one of the ways that this is most often measured is by an acronym VPD, which stands for Vapor Pressure Deficit. In what way does the author's use of the VPD symbolize Okay, bear with me. I, I recognize that this can sound a little boring, but if you, if you wanna have success in your greenhouse, it's worth understanding this concept. So when the VPD is too high, it means the air is too dry. And when the air is too dry, plants lose too much moisture too quickly and it's very stressful for them. And it will cause all kinds of problems. But on the flip side of that, when the VPD is too low, there's too much humidity in the air and the plants can't properly or efficiently transpire. And so then this means they can't properly uptake nutrients. Uh, they can't defend themselves as well against uh, pests, viruses, things like that. And so having the VPD balanced in a, in a window that the plants find good for them uh, is critical. And the main way that you control this is by air movement. Okay, I wanted to mention one last thing on the topic of managing temperature by means of, of air movement. And that is, I heat my greenhouse to a degree by air movement. And that's because I have hundreds of feet of flexible irrigation pipe underneath the bed of my greenhouse, underneath the actual structure. And I have an inline fan that's pulling that warm air, basically it's geothermal, and pulling it up into the greenhouse during the winter. And also <laughs> the flip side of that is during the summer, it's pulling that cool air into the greenhouse. And so it's a heating system in the winter and a cooling system in the summer. All right, second benefit to having air movement in a greenhouse is it actually makes your plants healthier and stronger. Now, good air movement in a greenhouse isn't just about making it comfy for the plants. It's also about giving them a physical workout. You see, when a plant is jostled uh, either by a person or an animal or by the wind, the plant has a reaction known as figmomorphogenesis. Essentially, the plant says, oh, I need to prepare myself for the next time that happens, and it makes itself stronger. 
This means thicker foliage and branches, as well as a more robust root system. Now, on top of that, another benefit to having air regularly moving across the plant is there is this thin, almost sticky layer of air on the surface of the leaf called the boundary layer. And when you can break that up, it allows the plant to better transfer gases. We were talking about transpiration earlier. Well, what that does is by breaking up that boundary layer of air, it makes it so the plant can absorb carbon dioxide and release more oxygen. And when it's doing that well, the plant is healthy. One more benefit to air moving on the surface is it also makes it more difficult for pests to set in. And that brings us to the third benefit of good air movement in a greenhouse. When you don't have good airflow in your greenhouse, it invites all kinds of maladies, specifically mildew, mold, and other pests. And so just by getting that air moving by some kind of an oscillating fan, it's incredible the benefit to your health it will be. Now, like I said, this is going to be implemented in different ways for different greenhouses. In a smaller greenhouse, it might just mean, you know, open the door, open the vents, both, you know, some kind of combination, and that might be enough. It might not. In bigger greenhouses, it might mean thermostatically controlled fans and other things along those lines. Now, this particular oscillating fan that I got off of Amazon uh, does wonders, both managing temperature as well as helping with all of the other benefits, health benefits, you know, thigmomorphogenesis and reducing and preventing pests. And the way that I control this particular fan is I have it plugged into a smart plug and it's on a schedule and it comes on, oscillates for a few minutes, turns off throughout the day. Now in my greenhouse, it's a little bit more complicated because I mentioned I uh, have a, a GAT, a ground air heat transfer system. So that means there's an inline fan that's pulling the air through the system. I also have an attic fan that's venting hot air. And then I have some small oscillating fans to just help in the process of moving the air. And I also have a fan in the back corner connected to a hemostat, humidity related, and that will also come on if the humidity gets too much to move the air and reduce the humidity. So you can see there's lots of different steps that you're going to need to take to uh, fit your particular circumstance in your greenhouse. Now, I realize this is a pretty niche video. There's not a lot of people that are looking for this kind of information, but to the very few group of you that made it to the end of this video, you watched the whole thing and you commented, thank you very much. And if you like this video, you might like these.